Hey everybody, Chuck here as usual, and I wanted to share another milestone with you. Um, immediately following the other video where I had the suspension unit out of the frame, and I was kind of working on the working on it. Well, I finally got it installed. Pretty good milestone, and I wanted to share that with everyone today. Um, there it is. And it fits real nice. Very happy with it. Everything is cotter pinned in, drilled and cotter pinned. And that means for me that this whole unit, the whole frame can come out. I've got it bolted in, just, you know, a couple bolts holding it so I can see how it drops out. So I can drop the whole suspension unit out and or individual components. Pull the cotter pins, punch that uh, three-quarter inch square tubing either way, and the whole arm drops down and just real, real accessible. When you're on the road and you're going, you know, some sort of distances, perhaps, you know, you want to be able to tear stuff down and get it fixed. The only thing I haven't done as far as bogeys is these uh, carrier ones on the top. They're just sitting on the frame rail for now. I'm going to build the uh, build the work it takes to hold those things up as well. I'm going to build them right into the same frame right here. So when I drop it out, literally the whole bogey system comes out with like four bolts and it comes apart. So pretty exciting. While I'm here, I want to tell you another thing that I've been meaning to tell you all along about the differential. These Peerless 100... 224s have been really, really hard to get. So many people have asked me about the differential, and I've explained how they work and so forth. But uh, I finally got an email back today from Peerless. I was glad to hear from them because I know they got bought out, and I usually buy these things at Northern Tool. This one came from Northern Tool. My track vehicle down here in the corner had one which is out of it right now because I broke the differential housing because I didn't have my frame strong enough. And uh, in trying to search out parts for that, I found out that uh, somebody got back with me and uh, getting information about the differentials again. I think this just looks pretty cool. I like the way it sits. And uh, very, very pleased to see the torsion system in it. And from then on, of course, we're going to start putting the drivetrain in and go from there. This is the hard part. Suspension is a hard part. Perhaps you don't even need, you know, perhaps you don't even need uh, a suspension. Don't want a suspension. And while we're talking about that, well, here's another picture of the, this is just kind of a sample suspension unit, torsion suspension, built, built right into the arms, up at the top, welded, so they give a little bit. But I'm going to share something else with you. Ouch. No, I didn't hurt myself. The other day I was talking about how square tubing slides inside a square tubing, and it gave me an idea um, about doing something like this. If I had to do this over again, I might consider a spring-operated suspension instead of a torsion suspension. I think it would be a whole lot easier. This is a little bit lighter gauge square tubing. There's a better better fit to this one I'm sliding down on. This is kind of loose, but just for demonstration purposes, I wanted to show you. You know, I'm an idea guy. I like to share my ideas, and I certainly get enough of them. But just made out of stuff I got laying around. I had, uh, I took a little piece of a bolt, put it through down here, tacked it in here, welded it a little bit, and then ground it off. Found a spring I had laying around, and uh, put the spring in it. And then, of course, I found this uh, other piece of square tubing that fits pretty good. It's a little loose, but you get the idea. I have another fit with a fits there stronger. And I just thought, actually, I almost talked myself into doing this. If I have any trouble with the torsion, I may do this. Now somebody say might say, Chuck, well, it doesn't have any dampener. It's just a flat-out spring. But come on, you're not going a million miles an hour down the road on these things anyway. 
and I really don't believe you would need a regular strut or shock absorber. You just need something to, to have a little bit of give as you hit bumps. And I, I think this would be a whole lot simpler than what I did. So I may pursue this if I have any trouble with the suspension units, although I, the torsion ones, although I spent a whole lot of time doing this and figuring that out. All right. Well, there we go. Again, I want to thank people that are helping me. I got this crazy idea going across the USA. And uh, if you want to help, freeze frame that. And uh, I appreciate the people that are getting back with me and are helping me. I've got sponsors, both uh, commercial sponsors and some private sponsors and some guys that are I've got to be friends with who are getting a hold of me on a regular basis. So thank you guys so much. Hey! As always, God bless you. Hey, if you need to get a hold of me for anything else, Chuck Sword out of Yahoo. Give me a give me a buzz. I mentioned I'm a preacher too. Be glad to talk to you about anything in life. Alrighty, God bless. See you next time.